I'm Cynthia Cox with Cox & Associates, CPAs LLC, and this is the Nonprofit Minute. I want to start a series on tips for fraud prevention, and the first topic is going to be wire transfers. Wire transfers are particularly risky because if you can transfer out of your bank account, well, the limit is the amount in your bank account. You want to make sure that you work with your bank. I'm going to give you some tips, but your bank can give you some really good common sense steps and working with them to prevent fraud. First, make sure that you can only transfer between your bank accounts. So you give an employee the ability to transfer funds you only want them to be able to do it from, say, the general operating account to the payroll account or the general operating account to the savings account. You don't want to allow them to be able to transfer funds to a third party bank account. Always make sure you involve at least two people in every transfer. Of course, that's what I always say as an auditor. There needs to be two people where money's involved. The employee that sets up the transfer and an employee who supervises and approves the transfer. Let me give you an example. What if you're doing payroll and you're transferring money from your general account into your payroll account? You want to have someone who defines what that transfer needs to be, how much money needs to be transferred to cover the payroll, and they want to document it, because of course, again, auditor wants it documented, document the amount, how they came up with the amount, and then you want to have the employee that's approving that transfer to sign off on it also. So that if you ever have any question, you've got the documentation, how you came up with it, who approved it, when it was transferred, all those essentials. Where the bank comes in to help you though is they want to talk to you about the best way to have controls over that transfer. Can you limit how much an employee can transfer? Can you give one employee an, uh, the ability to transfer the money and another employee the ability to approve it? How does that physically work with your bank? Are you going to do it online? Are you going to do it by phone? Are you going to do it by fax? That's where you call the bank. Ask them what the various options are and how they can help because they're as interested in fraud prevention as you and I are. I'm Cynthia Cox and we would love to tell you more about fraud prevention and how we could help your organization with good internal controls or possibly an audit. So give us a call at Cox & Associates, CPAs, LLC, and we look forward to serving you.